guys i just wanted to give a quick update so i have all the legs in place now all screwed in and main circuit board two pca 9685s here and my esp32 so um all, all of the legs work as you can see but there are some issues like here you might be able to see how this is slowly shaking up and down i don't know why that's happening and also, they sometimes you can get them to shake when all of the legs start shaking. Um, which I also don't know why that's happening. So you kind of just have to stop it with your hands. Like this. Also, this leg, um, and in all the legs, they kind of um, detach from the actual servo, so you kind of have to press it into place. But, um, the legs only shake, I've noticed, when they're not under that much load or stress. So, like, here, this is this servo uh, that's shaking, and it's, it's not under that much load. But you can get it to shake, which I don't know why is happening. Yeah, confusing me. Also, um, this buzzer here, you may be wondering what it does. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to alert you when the battery here is at a low voltage, so that it doesn't discharge too much. Um, at, talking about the battery, right now I'm using a 7.4 volt, uh, 4000 milliamp hour battery, LiPo battery. But um, I want to transition to these two um, 18650s as 7.4 volts is too much of a servos and I read that too much voltage can destroy the servos however I tried this before and I had an issue that it didn't really balance charge so one of the batteries discharged a lot more than the other um, which resulted in um, shorter runtime of the robot. Alright, goodbye.